G'day trendsetters, John, that's J-O-M with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you today with another unboxing and features video. It's not a specialized, marketing companies often reconstitute boxes when they send these bikes out to us media folks. Inside the box is a Ritter, that's R-I-T-T-E, Satire, S-A-T-Y-R. This is a steel gravel bike built with Reynolds 725 tubing designed by Tom Kellogg. Ritter is a Belgian-esque name, but the company is based in California. It was founded in 2009, and funnily enough, Ritter is managed by a fellow Australian who hails from the same hometown as yours truly, Adelaide, South Australia. So those fun facts aside, let's unbox the Ritter Satire and see how it looks. Here we go. And there you have the Ritter Satire. I'll unwrap it momentarily and get a closer look at it. And here we have it, the Ritter Satire unwrapped. Now because this bicycle is a steel bicycle, it's very traditional with the tube shapes. What's interesting, this is the very first steel gravel bike I have reviewed on video. At the front of the bike, you've got an all carbon tapered fork and all of the cables on this bike are routed internally. They enter right at the head tube. Likewise, the rear hydraulic brake housing runs internally inside the frame and exits just in front of the rear brake. And this bike is one by, it's fitted out with Shimano's GRX one by mechanical drivetrain. And the bike has some pretty interesting dropouts and some really lovely curved stays, which give a decent amount of clearance, not huge. The wheel set is the Hunt four season gravel disc, which is a wheel set I have reviewed on the gravelcyclist.com website. I'll link that in the description below. The bottom bracket, I'll have to overlay the standard because I'm not sure what it is. I haven't seen the chart right now for the specs. In terms of fenders, the frame does have mounting points for those. And there are three bottle cage mounts on the seat tube and down tube, as you would ordinarily expect, and beneath the down tube. I was also supplied with some bottle cages, very handy. And the rest of the build kit is by FSA, full speed ahead. That includes the stem, the handlebars, and the seat post. As for the saddle, it's a fabric brand, not a saddle I've ridden. Looks okay though. And because this is 2020, the brakes are flat mounted on the fork and on the frame itself. And in my opinion, it's a very classy looking bike. I love the livery on this bike. Cream with almost British racing green and metallic and some silver accents. In between now and the review video appearing, be sure to follow the Gravel Cyclist Instagram account and like the Gravel Cyclist Facebook page. I like to show teaser images of the bikes during the review process. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.